And it's a very good afternoon from me, Johnny Bryan, and I welcome you to Sedba in Cumbria for the semi-final of the RFU Champions Trophy for 2015 between Sedba School and Bedford School, a match that has been billed as the irresistible force against the immovable object. Both sides are unbeaten this season. Confidence is high in both camps, as they know the winners will venture down to North London in a fortnight's time to contest the final. Another good tackle there, that was from the captain Hayden Thompson-Green. Boltzmann popped out and now Tal from Sedbert to try and go excellent off though, that was as well. Thompson-Green needs a little bit of help. But it's maybe turned over once more, no it hasn't. Gowling. Oh, the opportunity opened up for Ali Crosstown, Crosstown under the post. Ali Costa has been one of the talismen for Sedbera this season and he's shown his skill and pace once more to score the opening try of the game. Referee tells the players to use it and get on with it. Crossdale, kick downfield, how's the bounce on this one? That's well, not too bad in the middle of the field. Burgess. Alabue. Spots the man to his left hand line, Shea Boyd, Shea Boyd going for the corner. He did a good tackle, but it still could be here for Bedford. And it is as well for Jake Carter, who is the scorer for Bedford. Seesaw game now in this first half. Bedford now with the lead, the lead 8 7. Costale. Costale off and running, oh, off to the race as he goes. Looks to his right hand side and uses the man. Will Lewin into the corner. Try given as well, Will Lewin the scorer, right on the stroke of half time. Ali Costale the man once more, you can't take him out of the game. Dalton. Shea Boyd, juggling that by Fraser Dingwall. And ball has been turned over and now going the way of Seba as the rain starts to lash down here once more. One, th one praise I must say actually from both sets of teams, we were both all expecting here very much a uh, knock-on type of game but they're off and running as well and Bedford are the ones who are going to get on the score sheet at the start of this second half. I mentioned ding-dong battle, that's exactly what it's going to be. Great try there from Tunde Adewale of Bedford, 14-13 now the score. Also a spirited bunch the Sedba students, see them, many of them braving the cold and the rain here. As the Sebra drive into the side, the Bedford 22. Charlie Gowling fishes it out. Pick up to the forward, George Bentley. The drive continues to come from Max Davis. Around, what, 5, 10 metres out, and the drive continuing to come as well. Just held up short of the line. Calling for reinforcements on the left-hand side. Here, if they go quickly, Seba, they're going to try and bottle the way forward instead. And have they done? They have done! <laughs> Seesaw battle continues. Seba getting on the front foot and time to ramp through the gears. Hayden Thompson-Green into the 22. John Statham. Scrappy ball, Bedford the ones under pressure though, the start of this second half. Picked up by Lavery, just in front of the post. Man on the left hand side, if they go quick, they're going to go right instead. Picked up by Ed Irons. Statham. Crossdale's on it. Daylight between the two sides. Dalton goes left. What a finish we could have here. Penalty no now that this is some options. Tap and go is the, the option has been taken. Dingwall out on the left hand side. George Cave just shy of the line. Picked up. 
by Alex Dennis, and Dennis has scored. And now catch a drive, catch a drive coming from Bevan, it's a good one as well. It's a good one. Goes to ground about five or so metres out, but it's the team from the south who are sensing blood here in the north. Burgess. Dalton. Colour for men on the right hand side here, and they've got plenty of men over as well. It's time! It's over from Fraser Dingwall. Fraser Dingwall, the scorer, and a relatively simple conversion to come. Penalty, now then. Penalty to send, but they can't kick this out. It's got to be tap and go. And away we go. They need a try. Drop goal or penalty is no good to them here. I think the away draw, draw rule is in effect here. Pretty sure it is, in fact. And ball has been taken from Bedford. I'm saying, but it's in Bedford's hands. Red's lost! Red has lost! The team from the south are smelling a place at the Alliance Park in Tewix, but it's been stolen again from the team in Brown, the home side. The southern wrong end of the field, they've got knock 70 on. metres to find. They've got a knock on advantage to come. But that is that. Game over, and the team from the south have caught north and done a number on Sedba. Bedford School don't know when they're beaten. They are going to the Alliance Park in two weeks' time. A resilient second half rear guard from 24 15 down to take this semi final by 27 points to 24. All credit to them. A fantastic victory from Bedford School as they defeated the house Sedba by 27 points to 24. So much to talk about here, so many tries, a fantastic advertisement for this level of rugby. And what must be said, it's just a shame, a real shame there has to be a loser. Because both sides played their hearts out, they really did.